Hey guys, I'm Kirsten and I am going to share a little bit about myself today. So, since it's a short video, I'm just going to skip all the unimportant facts of my life and just skip to what I'm going to say. So, I have always been uh, a churchgoer. I'm from a devout Christian family. I always went to summer camp, all that stuff. So by the time I became a freshman in high school, uh, an opportunity was presented to me um, and I got the chance to go to Haiti on a mission trip. So for the past four years, I've gotten to go to Haiti and just be blessed by the people there. And every year God teaches me something different. And what I'm going to share with you guys today is what I learned in the last trip I went on, which was the one before my senior year started. So this was like a, almost two years ago, I guess. Um, this was really important for this time in my life because senior year was about to start and I didn't know where I was going to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do and it was just crazy stressful. So when I was in Haiti, I was really worried about this stuff, um, you know, the future and I, it just kept bothering me. Even when I was in Haiti, I could not stop thinking about it. And I was constantly thinking like, what am I going to do? What am I, what does my future hold? And that week I prayed about it and there was one day where God just like I don't know I was just released from those thoughts for a day and for that day I realized how much more present I was with people and that's something that just really hit me that when you're so stressed out about the future and worrying about things that you can't control like not knowing what you want to do yeah I should think about you know what are my options for the future but when it gets to the point where it's so distracting that I can't function or can't you know bless other people it's a problem so what I realized is that it's really important to take a step back and not let things like that control your life because that was really controlling my life and after that I was able to put those things aside and start focusing on the people around me in the moment. So just, I guess, living in the moment is something really big in my life. And I feel like a lot of people say that, but for me it really is because if you, if you spend all your time worrying about the future, then you're never going to be able to uh, be with people and be like as present as you could if you weren't so distracted about it. So that's just what I want to leave you guys with today. Just something to think about. Maybe consider trying to let go of certain things in your life and try to focus on the things that are around you and, um, you know, keep a positive outlook. So hope you guys enjoy this and are having a good weekend. Okay. Bye. Hey guys. Kirsten, right off the bat, I can see that you have amazing facial expressions. Uh, I love how you're using your eyes, your eyebrows, your mouth, your head's tilted. So you are doing a fabulous job of using your face. I'm Kirsten, and I am going to share a little bit about myself today. So since it's a short video, I'm just going to skip all the unimportant facts of my life and just skip to what I'm going to say. You have good instincts here that you don't need to put a lot of extra information into this speech. But you know what? You also really don't have to tell us that you're going to be cutting all that stuff out. Just go ahead and cut it out like you did and then don't even mention it. So I have always been uh, a churchgoer. I'm from a devout Christian family. I always went to summer camp, all that stuff. So by the time I became a freshman in high school, uh, an opportunity was presented to me um, and I got the chance to go to Haiti on a mission trip. So for the past four years, I've gotten to go to Haiti and just be blessed by the people there. And every year God teaches me something different. And what I'm going to share with you guys today is what I learned in the last trip I went on, which was the one before my senior year started. So you have a good start at inflection here. 
which is great. I can tell when you're giving us background information or when you're talking about things that are more important to you. There's a distinct difference in your voice. I would be careful of putting in too much of that background information, uh, which year it was, which summer before summer before your last year, which was before your senior year. Uh, those details probably aren't so important and they interfere a little bit with uh, that great inflection that I'm starting to get uh, from you about how much you care. And I just want to let that shine through the part that you're passionate about, which is the trip, not what year or which summer that it happened that was in. Like a, almost two years ago, I guess. Um, this was really important for this time in my life because senior year was about to start and I didn't know where I was going to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do and it was just crazy stressful. So when I was in Haiti, I was really worried about this. We're going to have to ignore the unfortunate lagging that we have. Uh, sometimes that happens when we download uh, recordings. Uh, but so we're just going to ignore that. But I have to say here, Kirsten, again, uh, I enjoy your voice and um, the sincerity that I'm hearing coming through. You've quieted your tone just a little bit and you're speaking slower. And these are all things that help me understand that you're about to say something important. And when you say that you were stressed at that time, I, I believe you. You don't look stressed now, but there's something in your voice that I can hear the the memory of stuff, um, you know, the future, and I it just kept bothering me. Even when I was in Haiti, I could not stop thinking about it, and I was constantly thinking, like, what am I going to do? You can see that your body is wanting to move here, that you're uh, shifting in your seat a little bit uh, and turning. And this is where uh, I think we need to just change your position. We need to get you standing up with an audience and let your full body get into this so you can incorporate uh, some hand gestures and movement as well as facial expressions for nonverbal communication. Listen to your instincts. If you want to move, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and move. What, am I, what does my future hold? And that week, I prayed about it and there was one day where God just like, I don't know, I was just released from those thoughts for a day and for that day I realized how much more present I was with people and that's something that just really hit me that when you're so stressed out about the future and worrying about things that you can't control, like not knowing what you want to do, yeah I should think about, you know, what are my options for the future, but when it gets to the point where it's so distracting that I, I still love your facial expression. They're amazing. I can't function or can't, you know, bless other people. It's a problem. So what I realized is that it's really important to take a step back and not let things like that control your life because God You've been making a, a good point telling your story and the purpose behind it well. Uh, at this point, you have, I think, told most of what is going to be the content of your speech, yet you're still going to be speaking for a little while after this without saying anything new. And probably my biggest recommendation for you would be this planning of making sure that you don't repeat too much. A uh, little repetition is fine for transitions, intros, conclusions, but for the, uh, what's happening here is you're not quite sure where to go with it next, so you're restating. Uh, so in the future, let's just try to stop that a little bit quicker and focus on the nugget of what it is that you have to tell us and then end. I was really controlling my life, and after that, I was able to put those things aside and start focusing on the people around me in the moment. So just, I guess, living in the moment is something really big in my life. And I feel like a lot of people say that, but for me it really is because if you, if you spend all your time worrying about the future, then you're never going to be able to uh, be with people 
and be like as present as you could if you weren't so distracted about it. So that's just what I want to leave you guys with today. Just something to think about. Maybe consider trying to let go of certain things in your life and try to focus on the things that are around you and, um, you know, keep a positive outlook. So hope you guys enjoy this and are having a good weekend. Okay, bye! This has been a great start, Kirsten. Just to recap, uh, what I think you do particularly well is your facial expressions. Uh, they just really uh, emphasize what it is that you're talking about. Uh, and your your vocal inflection is very good as well. Uh, things to work on would be conciseness and also to try the next speech standing and letting us have the, the full body and trying other nonverbals on top of it. But great job overall.